Hi Aries, welcome to your love read for the day. I hope you're well. Let's go ahead and do this reading for you for your love life. Aries. Okay. We have here divine timing is at work in your love life. There's worth waiting for. Okay. Aries, please. Aries, first house energies for love. Okay, I've got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction. Okay, that's all I'm going to pull for that. Now let's see what we get here for you, Aries, today for love and relationships. Aries, love and relationships. Aries, love and relationships. Holy Spirits and angels. Aries. Oh, wow. King of the Wands is coming out. Very strong energy, a leader. Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy in a very strong leadership position. Someone could be taking action. Okay. Crossing the energy is the Five of Swords. There was some kind of conflict. Um, somebody wants to win. They could even be wanting revenge. Like, they want to win at all costs. They want to be the winner. Okay, underlying energy. I got like 10 cards at once. Okay, let's see. What are we getting for Aries? What is underlying for this? The death card changes. Something changed. Major transformation, major change. Past pain here. This is past energy of three of swords. Devil energy. Toxic energy or obsessive. Ooh, justice energy. Fairness, balance, equality coming in for some kind of unfair or toxic situation, major arcana for balance. So this was meant to happen here because this is meant to bring balance into your life in some way. Turn off this light, this light's too bright. So this is meant to bring balance into a situation, peace. The sword and the scales, Libra energy, it's ruled by Venus. So it's meant to bring peace into your life. You can't have all this, you know, stress. So the ending is meant to be. If it's an ending. I think it could be a change as well. Your energy is two of water. You could be finding a partnership, a new partnership, a new soulmate. Oh, wow. Around you is a Ten of Cups. The happily ever after. There is some kind of emotional fulfillment happening. Your fear is Ten of Swords. Like you'll be betrayed, ruined, or stabbed in the back. Complete betrayal. You know, um, it's your fear. You're afraid that that's going to happen. Um, the death card underlying a change or transformation. And the outcome is three of wands. Focusing on the future, anticipating more, wait, expecting good things to arrive anticipation waiting to hear back from someone 
Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. This person could be around you or near you. Okay, so why is there um, a Two of Cups here for Aries? Okay, we have here a Knight of Water coming towards you, a romantic offer or a gesture or invitation, expression, romantic feelings, and it came out with a Queen of the Water. So you could be open to this as well, willing to listen to someone. This is sensitive, caring, and nurturing. It's the energy of Pisces. Or Cancer, it could be Scorpio, it doesn't really, could be a Scorpio, but I don't really feel, feel it's a Scorpio. So you're anticipating something, you're waiting, and um, you're very focused on the future. You like the direction you're going in. Crossing the energy is sort of uh, somebody wants to win at all costs, very competitive and narcissistic energy. That changes or ends. So now we're getting this King of Water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio energy man. So we have here an emotional connection. You have a divine counterpart. Okay. Bottom of the deck is Magician. Manifestation, you could have made this happen. Manipulated your environment. Five of Pentacles. Um, four of Swords. Okay. So basically you've made this change happen. This is a, ch a necessary change. Something that had to change. There was um, something toxic in a situation with the devil energy. And it had to balance out for peace right here. Okay. Okay, so what are we getting about the devil? Okay. We got a five of pentacles. Feeling abandoned. Left out in the cold. Five of swords. What is this here? Oh, wow. Six of swords. So somebody could be returning. Or you could be blocking communication. Nine of cups is here wish fulfillment what is the death what is changing what is changing for aries in love okay there's a two of cups now i don't know if some of you are going through a breakup but there is two of cups which means there is love in this situation oh my god what is happening the death card the ending of a king of swords. So this could be somebody is changing. They're going to be more compassionate. Um, the king of swords can be very harsh. It's someone who's like always ready um, to be combative. What is the justice energy? Oh my god, look at that. Justice flipping. So peace, harmony, balance, ruled by Venus. Venus is the planet of love and pleasure. Um, now, I mean, for some of you, it could be the ending of a bad relationship and the start of a new one. What is the Two of Cups? Why is this here? Six of Cups. It could be a return of a friend from your past. Or it could just be any friend. Okay, what is this Three of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, King of Water? Seven of Wands. Somebody who stood there, is standing their ground. And there's a King of Water here. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay, justice is coming into the future, so what is justice, please? What is the justice? Okay, justice for this devil situation. Something's going to change for the better with Jupiter. Okay, so we have positive change. This devil energy is going to stop or be done. And you have something much better for you, a soulmate arriving. What is the queen of water? What is the Queen of Water? Hermit. And a Page of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo, but it could be um, anyone. Virgo energy there. 
and then we're getting empress again so it's almost like somebody who treats you better three of cups okay aries i'm gonna leave this here for your love reading thank you for tuning in and take care